The main purpose of attending school at every level is to receive an education that helps an individual throughout every phase of his or her life. Every day that a student attends school, there is an opportunity to learn something new that can change his life or the life of someone else. In fact, education contributes towards economic increase to growth and stability in both personal and national levels. In this backdrop, quality management systems in higher education have been developed to improve professional standards and must therefore be monitored by enacted bodies. Higher Education Authority, a statutory body established by the Higher Education Act No. 4 of 2013, oversees higher education training in Zambia. Higher Education Authority regulate and monitor standards in higher institutions in order to ensure quality services contributing to the enhancement of human capital and accelerated national development. Adhering to its core function, on 29th March 2019, Higher Education Authority launched a strategic plan that shall spell out its operational framework spreading throughout 2018 to 2021. Higher Education Authority Director General Stephen Simkanga outlined the first strategic plan of the Higher Education Authority describing its wide mandate, inclusive higher quality education delivery, promoting corporate governance, and transformation of human capital responding to the economic development needs of the nation. This is our first strategic plan since the authority was established in 2013. We first started swimming before coming up with bearings as to where we are going because there was an immediate need at that time to start registering institutions and also accrediting learning programs. We have tested the waters. Now it's time to get the bearings right. Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, the functions of the Education Authority, as outlined in the Education Act, number 4 of 2013, part 2, section 6, include, but not limited to the following. One, regulate our education institutions and coordinate the development of higher education. Develop and recommend policy on higher education, including the establishment of public higher education institutions and the registration of private higher education institutions. Three, establish a coordinated higher education system which promotes corporate governance and provides for program-based higher education and restructure and transform higher education institutions and programs to be responsive to the human resource, economic and development needs of the nation. In addition to the function that I've outlined, State of Instrument number 25 of 2016 provides for the accreditation of learning programs. Ladies and gentlemen, the strategic plan that Honorable Minister of Higher Education will launch today will provide a strategic pathway that will allow the authority to achieve this important mandate that has been bestowed on us by the Zambian people. The strategic plan was developed under the technical guidance of Management Development Division of Cabinet Office. Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, the SWOT and PASTEL analysis facilitated the determination of the strategic direction for the authority for the next four years, the analysis led to the formulation of the vision, mission, strategic themes, strategic results, strategic objectives, intended results, measures, targets, and strategies. 
In addition, core functions were developed using an integrated institutional capacity assessment and organization development. Therefore, the balanced scorecard strategic planning process was used. Honorable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, in the next four years, the authority commits itself to pursuing six strategic objectives. These objectives have been associated with intended results, measures, targets, and strategies. With the six strategic objectives, we have committed ourselves to ensuring quality service delivery, ensuring the production of, uh, ensuring the production of internationally recognized graduates, and also having satisfied clients. We are excited, Honorable Minister, that you will be uh, launching our strategic plan, a document that will give us the strategic direction and make us accountable to the Zambian people. of Higher Education Permanent Secretary Mavuto Sakala described the launch of the Higher Education Authority strategic plan as critical to providing an operational framework to guide the institution and also provides for a mechanism for the Minister of Higher Education to monitor and supervise. This strategic plan is critical as it provides an operational framework to guide the institution. Not only that, it also provides a mechanism for the Ministry of Higher Education under which the institution falls to monitor, supervise, and assess the performance of this institution. And therefore, we take this opportunity very seriously. During the launch, graced by Higher Education Minister, Professor Nkandalu, described education not being a substitute. In fact, for university education standard, rules remain the same despite the geographic setting of a campus. Colleagues this morning, let me remind all of us that there is no substitute to education. Education is education. And when we talk about university education, there is no substitute to university education. University education is university education. And that's why whether this university is sitting in Zambia or it's sitting in Germany or it's sitting in the U US, it's university. And the rules are the same. So we can't compromise in terms of the rules and the standards of a university. And therefore, as we start developing and implementing our strategic plan, I'd like us to deal with some of the challenges that are facing us. One is the fact that we cannot register anything at university if they are not able to demonstrate the existence of a campus. A university is not about houses for lecturers. It's not about an administration block. It's not about hostels for students because lecturers can rent accommodation. Students can rent accommodation. A university is about a faculty. And therefore, from now onwards, as we implement this strategic plan, and as we put together regulations, anybody that wants to set up a university in Zambia, first and foremost, 
must demonstrate the existence of a faculty. Secondly, they must demonstrate the lecturers that are going to teach. I'm aware that some of the institutions that exist now have people with only a first degree teaching in a university. That is not done anywhere in the world. The minimum of qualifications for anybody teaching in a university is a master's degree. Even the ratio of a master's degree to those holding a PhD has to be correct. Even the number of professors in that institution has to be correct. And these are real issues that the Higher Education Authority has to deal with. Professor Law also emphasized on developing regulations together with stakeholders so as to monitor quality of higher education standards with well spelled out curricula to prepare students adequately. It is very important that we sit down with our stakeholders and start developing regulations together. Secondly, we need to ensure that those that are getting their institutions registered with PACRA are advised that registration with PACRA does not mean you are a university. A university must be registered with an appropriate institution that is the Higher Education Authority. And again, we need to look at the laws in PACRA and make sure that we deal with them. Otherwise, what we are doing here will be an academic exercise. And personally, I don't like to be part of academic exercises. I like to leave a legacy of everything that I do, and we have to do it correctly. We have to do it correctly. The second, third challenge that we are facing is the issue of growth of our institutions. Yesterday, I belabored this point, that when you look at our public institutions, their fee structures are so high, they are only lucky because most of the students are paid for by government. Some of our private institutions, their fee structure is small, about half of what our public institutions are charging. Yet, we can see all of us, you don't need rocket science, you don't need extra spectacles to see that some of these institutions are growing. They are expanding and they are even putting in place beautiful infrastructure. And the question is, what is happening to the growth of our own public institutions? And I think the challenge you have as higher education authority is not to be apologetic to public universities. The onus is on them to play their part, just like everybody else. If anything, we should be hard with the public universities and colleges and so on. Because we, as a government, are spending money on them. And therefore, they have to be accountable. And they are supposed to be the torch bearers of education in this country. This is why government actually supports them. And it can't be another way. And I think we need to be candid as a team and have very candid discussions. And they also have to find their space in your implementation of your strategic plan. Otherwise, if we continue apologizing and saying, no, these are public institutions, it's okay for them to continue like that, there will be no growth of our institutions in this country. Indeed, Higher Education Authority has a mandate to collaborate on one platform with various players and recreate a quality education system, respond to the fiscal economic dynamic environment, and make a difference of professionalism beyond Zambia. I'm challenging the Higher Education Authority as I celebrate your work 
And I'm very pleased that for the first time, we have a strategic plan that will guide your work strategically, that will help you implement that which we mandated you to do, that the implementation of this strategic plan is realized. And I think you need to make sure that as you look for experts, you go beyond Zambia. In a colorful ceremony, alongside a traditional dance with indigenous sounds of drums and song. The Higher Education Strategic Plan booklet was handed over to the guest of honor and officially launched. Expressing appreciation by an official speech made through a vote of thanks, Quality Assurance Director Dr. Vitalis Chifwepa described the launch as a mark depicting commitment of quality service delivery that must meet international standards. Today, here and now, Honorable Minister, marks our commitment to quality service delivery, working with higher education institutions ensuring production of internationally recognized higher education graduates. And we know, Honorable Minister, this is one of your passions. We do commit ourselves to ensure that the stakeholders, the employers, higher education institutions, and the students alike are satisfied with our delivery. This will be through our work plans that we have already developed and operationalized. We acknowledge, Honorable Minister, the challenges of duplicity of regulatory functions, the standards, quality, and quantity of faculty that you have raised. We do acknowledge and commit ourselves to taking them on board. We have invited higher education institutions, Honorable Minister, to share the vision that we have and the challenges ahead of us, including those that we have raised in terms of maintaining and improving standards of higher education in our great nation. We shall work with the, these higher education institutions to ensure quality and relevance in higher education. We are aware, Honorable Minister, of your keen eye on behalf of government and those of the parliamentary committee which we already have had a taste of their critical role. Thank you, Honorable Minister, for this gesture and support. We are also aware of your support in terms of legislative framework to ensure that the challenges we have faced so far in implementing the current act are addressed. Indeed, with much great hope, the strategic plan shall provide for quality in higher education as enshrined in the functions. I want to conclude by saying to all of you, the reason why for me I'm so passionate about education, and I want education transformed, because it's the equalizer. This is the equalizer between the poor and the rich. The equalizer between the tall and the short. Even the equalizer between politicians. <laughs>